I'm Ruth Woodbridge. I'm the head of the Impressionist and Modern Art Department here at Bonhams in New Bond Street. So today we have one of the highlights of our 19th of October auction. This work is by Vasily Kandinsky and it's entitled Milieu Jean. It was painted in 1934, which is a really important time for the artist. It was a time of great personal change and artistic change for him. It also comes from a private collection and has impeccable provenance. It's also been exhibited widely, all of which helps highlight the work's importance in the artist's oeuvre. So this work was first of all in the collection of the artist's favoured dealer in New York, Karl Nierendorf. From there it was bought by 1945 by fellow artist Hilla von Riebe. She was a really important figure in the art world. She was not only a fellow modern artist like Kandinsky, but she was the first director of the Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum. This very painting was actually included in an exhibition at the Guggenheim in 1945 in a retrospective of Kandinsky's works. His work is characteristically colourful and dynamic, but always imbued with an air of spirituality. This was really important to the artist, and he wrote a 1910 book to that effect, entitled Concerning the Spiritual in Art. So this painting was created in 1934, very shortly after Kandinsky's move to Paris in 1933. He and his wife Nina were forced to flee Berlin following the Nazi party's rise to power and their attack on modern art. They also closed the Bauhaus school where he was a teacher. So fleeing for his life, he and Nina came to Paris where his friend and fellow artist Marcel Duchamp found them an apartment on the outskirts of the city. Despite the circumstances in which Kandinsky found himself, his work in Paris actually marked a rejuvenation of his style and he found great critical and commercial success. The painting is full of small vignettes that allow the viewer's eyes to wander around the composition and Kandinsky was really keen that the viewer should really be involved in his paintings and take time to consider each element. He incorporates symbols or glyphs that can have ambiguous or multiple meanings and he actually wrote once that he wants the viewer to take a walk through his composition. So the staccato short vertical strokes in the upper centre of the composition denote musical notes, as do the long diagonal lines in the centre of the work, almost like successive chords in a symphony. Kandinsky was a huge lover of music, and he really believed in the idea that music and art were interentwined, almost in this idea of a synesthesia. So he believed that the placement of brush strokes and a particular use of colour could actually chime musical notes in the viewer's mind. So Emilio Jean comes from a private collection where it's been for decades. We're really honoured and excited to be able to offer this in our 19th of October Impressions of Modern Art sale here at New Bond Street. It's one of the highlights and it offers a unique opportunity to buy one of the works from the artist's most captivating and dramatic periods.